hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to start uh, i will explain you the pressure drop for the elbow so how to calculate the pressure drop for the elbow so please before uh, start this video i would like to request you all guys if you still not subscribe my channel please do subscribing and hit the bell icon as well so that uh, whenever i uh, start upload any video you will get the notification of that video so today i will explain you for example this is one fan coil unit and uh, i want to calculate the pressure drop for this fan coil unit through this duct for example this is your uh, critical path so in this critical path uh, there is one elbow here so i want to calculate the pressure drop for this elbow so for this one uh, i have made one uh, excel sheet here I will show you this is the excel sheet i prepared so in this you can see this is the pressure and uh, this is the elbow uh, uh, elbow and uh, fittings uh, pressure drop and which uh, has been taken from this SRA handbook SRA 2001 uh, fundamental handbook so how to calculate this how to get the co co value and how to get the r by w h by w and cp value so you, you here you can see the coefficient loss coefficient co is nothing but the loss coefficient so co is is equal to kcp so to calculate the co k is required and cp is required so cp we have to calculate from this uh, table and k is nothing but the angle factor which is up which is 90 degree if it is 45 degree so this will be 0 0.6 and if it 90 degree so it will be 1 so uh, this is for the supply uh, elbow and uh, this is your fittings name cr3-1 elbow a smooth radius and for rectangular fitting so how to calculate this let us start now here you can see let me delete this first okay I have taken the screenshot from this handbook I will uh, show you with uh, one example from this uh, drawing so this is the elbow and this is the critical path where we want to calculate the pressure drop so in this path only one elbow is here so elbow the size of the elbow is equal to the duct size so here you can see the duct size is 300 by 200 so elbow width and height is also same so here one excel sheet i have prepared you can see the duct uh, elbow friction loss so here is your description so you can write it here the first one first column is tag number so you can write the tag number and here is your description so in the description you can write 90 degree elbow okay and then here w is nothing but the width of the elbow and h is the height of the elbow so from this drawing you can see the width is nothing but equal to the duct width width is equal to 300 okay and height is 200 so just enter here and this green color is user input so you do not touch this white color you have to enter only the green color here remaining already set with, uh, set with formula in excel so as you can see i have uh, set the formula here for area so it's uh, this uh, excel is automatic calculate the area which is in meter square and r is also the radius Radi radius is nothing but the you can see the radius is nothing but the half of this uh, width plus this uh, uh, radius uh, inner radius okay so inner radius is uh, for uh, uh, we are taking 156 inch or 4 inch for short run and long run 6 inch 6 inch is nothing but uh, uh, 150 mm plus the half of the this uh, width of the elbow so you can see here the 150 plus c4 by 2 i already here c4 is nothing but the width by 2 so uh, uh, this software is automatic excel is automatic calculate the r and h by w is also the height m divided by width and r by w is so the same okay and the degree is uh, nothing but the de 
uh, the, this elbow is 90 degree or 45 degree whatever it is you have to enter the degree of this elbow okay <coughs> so i have entered here height and width then elbow is 90 degree and flow so flow i have to calculate from this drawing so as you can see here the two numbers is ad and two numbers rad 450 450 each cfm is 365 is nothing but the supplier diffuser and two numbers is return air diffuser okay so each cfm is 365 so from this uh, from this branch the 305 uh, 365 cfm is flowing through this branch and going to this diffuser that means the air flow for this uh, lo is 365 so you have to convert into liter per second so 365 divided by 2.119 so 172 liter per second so here you can see in uh, here it is asking the in liter per second so here is 172 enter so <coughs> now the loss coefficient so how to calculate the lot loss coefficient let me delete this first okay so to calculate the loss coefficient okay here r by w and h by w is required to get the uh, co value okay co is nothing but the kcp so cp value is required and k value is required to uh, to calculate the loss coefficient co so here r by w and uh, you have to coincide the r by w and h by w so here is the r by w and here is the h by w here is the h by w okay so r by w is nothing but from this excel uh, program r by w is 1 and h by w is also 1 so here you can see uh, the r by w is 1 here and h by w in front of below this in front of this where it is coincide sorry h by w is here 1 okay so these two coincide here which is nothing but the cp so cp is nothing but uh, 0. Point to one okay and angle is 90 degrees so k is one <coughs> so just enter here uh, k, k, k is one so cp into one uh, that means uh, cp value is 0 0.21 and uh, uh, one is the k factor so here 0 0.21 okay co i got here 0 0.21 co okay and then average velocity say average velocity is nothing but the flow divided by 1000 into ao so you can see here the flow is 172 divided by 1000 into e4 is nothing but the area okay and then velocity pressure so velocity pressure is nothing but 0 0.602 v square so 0 0.602 and v is nothing but 2.867 into whole square for this and after that the total pressure drop uh, is co is equal to pv velocity pressure into loss coefficient so here is the velocity pressure and loss coefficient so i got here 1.0 pascal okay so this is how we are calculating the pressure drop for uh, 90 degree elbow okay if it is 45 degree for the same elbow so you have to just change here 45 degree and uh, k you have to multiply the k cp value with uh, 0.6 then you can go to uh, co okay and uh, if there is another elbow in the same line in the same line for example here is one more elbow here and diffuser is here so you have to calculate uh, this for the another second tag and you have to just copy this and paste it here and just uh, change this user input then you can go to here for example uh, the same uh, i want to calculate for the next line okay and here uh, for example uh, 300 again and here is uh, 150 okay and let me calculate uh, copy this and paste it here okay and then here is uh, again 90 degree and flow for example here i got uh, 
172 again the fuser i have shifted okay and so here uh, i got uh, same h by w r by w that means the 0 0.21 okay and i go to calculate this uh, uh, copy this and paste it here so i got uh, here uh, for this uh, elbow for example here is one elbow so for this elbow i got here 1.85 so i hope you guys learn how to calculate the pressure drop in elbow so let us uh, take the screenshot for this one okay and paste it there so let me take a screenshot from here okay like this and copy from here go to this excel and paste it here like this okay so this is how we are calculating the pressure drop in the elbow so i hope you guys learned something from this video if you learn something from this video please do subscribe my channel and share my video so thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye